All right, so uh, tonight I'm going to be tying a green slime, also known as a slimer or a slime ball around here. Um, basically, it's a variation of the popular marabou fall salmon pattern. You can tie these in all sorts of different colors. They don't have to be just green. Purple's common, and as well as black with a blue tail. The hook I'm going to be using today is a Mustad, a 3665A number 4. First I'm going to do is pinch the barb. Then I'll take my white thread, which is a Uni 80, and I'll run it down the length of the hook. I like to start at the eye of the hook with these flies as the uh, the rabbit strip can slip quite a bit on the bare metal hook, so running a layer of thread down gives the body that extra bit of traction so it won't slide up and down the hook while you cast it. So if you're making these, those long casts and it hits the water, sometimes it'll make your fly move around a bit. So for the tail, I'm going to take a piece of white marabou, and I'm just going to cut it like so, and take the butt section, and just get it so roughly all the feathers are in line, like so. Then I'll take that, notch it to length, and tie it in. Then I'll just tidy this up and run my thread back to the tail and this too creates a nice body underbody that is for the uh, palmering of the rabbit strips then I'm going to take a strip of pearl crystal flash I'm just going to go twice down either side I'll tie it in once and then I'll fold it over whoops missed it there so I'll tie it in and then I'll fold it over like so, and I'll just cut it directly in length with the tail. Then I'll do the exact same thing for the other side, tie it in, and cut it off in length with the tail. Now you're ready to tie in your body. I'll leave maybe half a centimeter between the tail, start of the tail and where I tie in the body just so that the uh, rabbit strip doesn't overpower the white tail. You want to be able to see the white tail in the water. So what I have here is a section of crosscut chartreuse rabbit strip and like I said earlier you can really use whatever color combination of tail and body you want so I'll take this and that back piece kind of doesn't look very good so I'll save that for something else and then I'll take this and I'll just trim off a bit of the fur here that just makes it easier to tie in and then I'll trim this down a bit it's a little thick Again, this just makes it easier to tie in. Then I'll lay it in like so. And tie it in. Make sure it's good and tight because you don't want it coming out later. And then run your thread to the front of the hook. Then I'll just simply palm it around the hook like so unfortunately this piece is a little short so I want to start back a little farther short meaning the hairs on the rabbit strip are quite short So then I'll tie this off at the head. And cut the rabbit off. And I'll just tie this off making a nice button shaped head. So there you have the body and the tail. And the only thing that I like to do that's left is to put a bit of flashaboo in the actual body running length. But no, this is the uh, pearl and silver stuff. I'll grab just the silver stuff and take a strip of it 
and just like we did with the tail, the crystal flash, I'll tie it in and fold it over. And the folding over uh, gives it a lot more strength, that way it's a lot less likely to pull out. Then I'll do the same thing down the other side. Tie it in, fold it over. Trim it to length. Then you have two strips down either side. And then I'll tie off my head. I'll take my whip finish tool. I'll just do a couple, put a couple of quick whip finishes in it. thread off and then finish it off with the head cement of your choice. I'm using a Vineyard Salir, but you can use whatever you want. They all pretty well have the same purpose. So there you have a finished green slime ready to fish.